Hey everybody, my name is Kim Sieber. Welcome back to my channel. In my video about parenting ADHD children while you have ADHD, I touched on mindfulness playing a role in preventing and mitigating conflict. What is mindfulness? How is it related to ADHD? Mindfulness is the practice of being present. It's about being aware of what's happening around us at this exact moment, without judgment, how things are, not how we want them to be. By regularly practicing mindfulness, we develop patience and we learn to separate our reactions from ourselves. When we observe our emotions without judgment, we no longer see them as good or bad, just as existing. Mindfulness can lower stress, reduce rumination, improve health, and protect against depression and anxiety. One hallmark of ADHD is difficulty regulating emotion. That means people with ADHD get easily frustrated, and that frustration can easily evolve into anger. Other common ADHD qualities are forgetfulness, difficulty focusing, and impulsivity. These qualities can lead us to forget things, procrastinate things, and do things that annoy others, causing them to lash out at us. And when these things build on each other, they can increase our stress levels, add that stress to the anger I mentioned before, and you have a recipe for an emotional explosion. Mindfulness can help mitigate factors that contribute to such outbursts. And when we take time to be aware of our experiences, we can address some of the qualities of ADHD that create struggle for us. For example, when we're aware and present as we unload the children from the van, rather than be in a rush, we may be less likely to leave the van unlocked. And when we are aware and present as we are driving, we may be more likely to focus on our surroundings using ADHD to our advantage, rather than daydreaming. And when we're aware and present as impulses emerge, we can pause and consider the effect our impulses may have on others or our future, rather than letting the impulses overtake us. When we're aware and present in situations that annoy or frustrate us, we can acknowledge our emotions rather than let them build up or get out of control. We can ask ourselves why this situation causes anger within us, rather than just letting the anger occur. And being aware of the root causes of our anger may help us address the root causes. It may even help us choose which emotions we let grow. Before we can separate our emotions from ourselves, we must become familiar with experiencing our circumstances objectively. Mindfulness is something that comes with practice. So how do we practice mindfulness? The foundation for a mindful society has a handy five-step process you can keep in mind as you practice your mindfulness. Number one, set aside some time. You don't need a meditation cushion or bench or any sort of special equipment to access your mindfulness skills. But you do need to set aside some time and some space. Number two, observe the present moment as it is. The aim of Mindfulness is not quieting the mind or attempting to achieve a state of eternal calm. The goal is simple. We're aiming to pay attention to the present moment, without judgment. Number three, let your judgments roll by. When we notice judgments arising during our practice, we mentally note them and let them pass. Number four, return to observing the present moment as it is. Our minds often get carried away in thought. That's why mindfulness is the practice of returning again and again to the present moment. And number five, be kind to your wandering mind. Don't judge yourself for whatever thoughts crop up. Just practice recognizing when your mind wanders off and gently bring it back. As the list indicates, the point of mindfulness isn't to clear our mind or achieve Zen. It's about separating ourselves from our experiences so we can observe these experiences objectively. And that objectivity is the crucial element we're trying to nurture. It's what helps us be aware, helps us remember, helps us complete tasks, helps us rein in our impulses, helps us control our anger 
help us use our ADHD to our advantage. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share my video. And I look forward to talking to you again soon.